Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Solo. We're here doing another modded truck run today. I'm going to be using this 92 Peterbilt 379. We had a custom uh, reefer trailer we got off the Steam Workshop. Unfortunately, I'm sorry this night. This run was at night time I got here because this is a reefer run. Sometimes it's hard to find safe, loads. Okay? Uh, we're going to show you the customization for the truck today. I'm going to be doing a live stream with it. on the road here so I got the truck off of a uh, mods ATS and then the uh, custom trailer is on the sting workshop Turn left. hope everyone's doing well Doing it for somebody that keeps uh, having the uh, boys. I don't know what to call them that. So we're heading up to San Francisco with some meat. About 120 miles. The day the truck's running, they're coming, it's full, full, four. 520 horses. I've always loved these, uh, these 379 trucks. Always love the look of them. miles to go go like I said we're heading up to San Francisco and I do apologize for being a night run uh, time I drove here from Bakersfield where I got the truck the trailer um, in the garage it was night so I had to find a, a, a frozen load for a reefer trailer sometimes they don't spawn in the area you're in so you have to kind of drive over there I got a thumbnail, so I don't have to worry about that when I took care of that. On way to pick up the load. I'm being quiet for a minute, gotta let you hear this uh, 444. this truck is you have to really adjust your seat because uh, you sit low in this truck when you first get in. You have to really adjust your seat because um, I first got out I was sitting real low. I couldn't see over the hood visor I got on there. Like the boat shield.
be doing the same run uh, with this trailer. I'm going to use the same trailer and truck for the live stream when I do a modded truck uh, live stream. about that. Join the drive right now. Listen to that engine. If you guys need to let me know too if it's too loud, not loud enough, how the audio is, how the quality is, so I know these things, so I can fix these things. I'm to San Francisco right now. better look. Using the Peterbilt Red on the truck. Chrome trailer. Custom trailer there. Hardback, okay. All right, so where I turn around, we'll never get it in there from this way.
kind of pull over this way like this. We're gonna have to probably jackknife it to get it in there. Ooh, there's no trouble there. Alright, let's pull up it this way just a little bit. Like this. We're gonna have to, we're gonna jackknife it and white like So I think we'll have time to show some uh, what this truck has. I'm gonna do a mod truck review though, so I think we'll do it in the next. I'm gonna run it again with another video, so. We need to try to turn it as close as we can to that other trailer so we can get that, start turning it and get it in there. That, that's our whole problem. We're turning it too sharp. Not sharp enough. Alright, so now we need to start really turning it. Try to straighten it up a little bit. I don't know how much we can do. Alright, we're not done. We had the right idea there. I get it straighter though, because it's not going to go in there like that. Yeah. They're not going to accept it like that.
All right, they, well, that's good for them. We'll accept it. Exit, drove 129 miles, took us four hours and 47 minutes to get here. We assume 33.4 gallons of fuel. We probably don't have nothing here we can pick up. Nope. Because if I'm hauling a reefer trailer, I don't haul anything but what needs to be in that trailer. We're in San Francisco. Candy. I mean, shrimp could probably go in there, but that's... There's nothing in San Francisco. There's some meat. In, um, Oakland. Alright guys, wanna get here and do another real uh, modern truck run? For this uh, 1992 Peterbilt 3379, a custom 53 uh, uh, footer uh, reefer trailer off the Sting Workshop. The truck come off of um, ATS mods. Where the truck come from? Um, it doesn't have. A, I'm gonna do another mod review video on it, so that's gonna be coming very soon. Plus, we'll be doing a live stream with it. I actually like the truck a lot. It's actually one of the first mod trucks I used in ATF with a truck that like this. So I'm glad to see there's one like this back. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for subscribing to the channel. Please like, have channel growth. We'll see you next video.